Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. I am Lucha FM, as always. Nice to hear from you again. Um, first of all, thank you for the, um, the... I had a couple of episodes last week that did really well. Um, so thank you for everyone that watched them. I really appreciate it. So thank you for that. Um, just to give you an update on Baxter before we get cracking. He is perfectly fine. Um, he's settling in. Uh, he's sleeping every night in his bed, not in our bed. He can be, Sometimes he'll wake up because he'll see one of us move around the bed and thinks it's time to get up. But other than that, he's all right. Um, then taking him to the vets today to get his final vaccination. So hopefully he'll be uh, ready to go. I'm trying to walk him on his harness and he's literally digging his, his paws in. He does not like walking all this stuff. So we've got that to overcome. And... Also, we've got the uh, potty training to overcome as well. But we'll get there. We'll get there. But he's a nice little dog. Um, I love him already. And uh, he's bonding with my girlfriend as well, which was a bit of a problem before. Um, she's She gets cuddle time with him now. So it's really good. We're doing really well. Anyway, on to FM. Um, where you left us off last. We... Oh, sorry. Wrong thing. We are currently second, which is a really good position to be in. Considering, um, we got knocked out of the Europa Cup though, and um, we're playing East Fife next game in the Scottish Cup. So hopefully we can do well in that and get loads of money. But yeah, doing well. We're one point behind Hearts, and um, we've got they've got a game in hand of us, and so is Hibs. And so Rangers got two games ahead of us, and so is Celtic. So it's it's very tight at the top at the moment. Um, but yeah, we've had a few. Because basically what I did is I holidayed um, for a bit because I didn't have a game for 16 days. And then halfway through holiday, holiday, holiday in it, sorry, I realised that um, basically we've got the January transfer window. So I better make sure that the assistant manager or the DOF uh, doesn't sell him behind our back. But yeah, we've got a few players here possibly to sign. He's not good enough, so we're not going to bother with him. Um, give him a report. He's pretty good. Let's have a look at bringing him in. Uh, I don't think he's good enough, so we'll get rid of him off the shortlist. We'll just work our way through these and you now give him a scout report. Jordan Hughes is too old, so we won't bother with him. Um. Harrison Ashby would be a good signer. Mm -mm -mm. Report. Uh, he's not good enough. I'm trying to be more picky now who we sign. I'm, not, I'm trying not to sign 100 million players in one season. Leighton Clarkson would be probably a good signing actually. Mm, give him another scout report. And then let's try and sign him. He looks like apparently he'll be a star player for us. So Juventus youngster. Just never broke into the first team. Probably the type of players we should be going for. Very versatile, can play in a lot of positions. Yeah, I don't think he's ever played for... Oh, he did play a couple of games for Juventus in the 2023-24 uh, season. Didn't play any after that. Mostly played in the... Oh, he played 16 games for Juventus. Bloody hell, he'd be a good signing for us then. Right, uh, what's he not happy about? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so we've got quite a lot to work our way through. We don't want to bother with him. Nobody wants Long Gallo, so it looks like he's, uh, he's staying for now. Training facilities have been... New facilities have been upgraded, so if we just have a look at the facilities. So we've got state-of-the-art training facilities, excellent youth facilities, exceptional academy coaching, and exceptional youth recruitment. And we are due to move at the end of this season into a 18,000 stadium, which will help a lot when it comes to bringing more money into the club. Yeah, 
They got rid of that player. We did well, actually. We signed him on a free. It was rubbish, and we somehow made money on him. Yeah, Ross Barkley's gone. Connor Goldson's gone. Got a lot of the old guard that's gone, basically. A lot of the older players. Right, so... Oh, we have had, we had, had some offers for Longello. I don't think they're very good, though. Uh, if you give me that... No, nope, not having it. Okay. Uh, Emma, Emma Hoylut, I don't want to sell him, do I? He's not trying to sell this, is he? I know I talked about maybe selling him, but he did well near the end. So no. Should we try and get him a new contract, see if he stays? Oh, he's asked me to sign a new contract. Doesn't want a minimum fee release clause as well, which is good. There we go. Yep, we'll send him out on loan. Gary Rui continues to do better. Shall we see if we can get him a new contract? No. He doesn't want to... He doesn't want to commit. We've still got him for three years, though, so at least he's, no, he's not going anytime soon. We might be able to convince him to stay in that time. Hoyland gets the December player of the month because he got five goals in seven games, so he did really well. In fact, can I, can I give him a bit of praise? Let's have a look. I can. There we go. I somehow a runner up in the manager of the month. I've already done that, haven't I? Yeah. I watched the um, me and my girlfriend. We watched we watched D uh, Dune D uh, D U N E the um, Timothy Chambala and uh, Zendaya film. We watched the first one of the of them two uh, on the weekend. Quite enjoyed that. Um, and then we watched the Iron Claw. Last night, really good. I feel so sad. That it's such a sad story. If anybody doesn't know about the curse of the Von Eriks, please Google it. Even if you don't need to be a wrestling fan, it's it's proper depressing. Um, such a sad state of affairs. But the film was really good. Um, really enjoyed it. The Spinks is gone. Oh no. Our bloody rival's only gone and nicked him off us. Oh, for God's sake. This is sad. Oh, he had to go to Hearts as well. Why couldn't you go to an English team? Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, and he won't sign a new contract. Should we see if we can get his agent to get him on board? No. Oh, oh well, Gary Rui looks like he's leaving. Our prized asset. I was really hoping we'd have him for a couple more years yet. Oh, we've had three offers. We've had three offers. Two from a Scottish team, one from Strasbourg. Let me see if I can offer him out for 14 million. Let's see if I can be sneaky and see if I can get a profit thing. It probably won't happen, but you never know. Some, some team might be stupid enough. We've got a lot of offers for Longello, but they're not good enough. God knows who we're going to place, replace Rui with. I don't think we've got anybody from the youth team we can replace him with. Oh, we've got um, Avon, Avorno, whatever his name is. I can't remember his name. Huh? Oh, Yanu, sorry. Uh, Bailey Wright. No, too expensive. Maybe, you never know, the DOF might end up signing a, a, a really good replacement. We've recalled three of these players. He's good enough to be a first team player. Let's get, let's get him off the transfer list. Let's uh, see if we can sign him a new contract. There we go. I quite like D uh, Diorigo at the time. He's going to be sold, I think. Uh, right, Danny Roy. He is very good. Defend, centre defender. 
20 years old. I think we might stick him in the first team, I think. Squad player. Right, sign him a new contract. Uh, send him out on loan. Actually, no, he's not very good, so we'll just release him instead. Send him out on loan. Uh, we'll look to get rid of him, I think. Right, let's see what else has happened. Thackeray's out for a bit. Rui, Rui. I wish they'd stop coming in for Dewurst as well. If we lose Rui and Dewurst in the same window, I'm really not going to be happy about that. Do we get rid of Bowler now? Is it time to get rid of him? Uh, three goals, three... Nah, he's, he's, he's doing alright. We'll keep him for another season. Is he a right back? Oh, we can play right back. He's too expensive though. So sad that Ruiz go here. I knew we'd have to sell him eventually because of that minimum fee release clause, but I didn't think any team I actually genuinely didn't think any team would actually fork out the money for him. Ah, oh, see? Look at these rubbish offers. No. If I'm going to sell him, I'm going to sell him for 14 million, and that's that. I'm not going to flip it sell him for 3 million. Even with the 20% clause, it's not going to make much difference. I think, actually, when it's all said and done, I don't know whether Rui will go on to do anything major in his career after this. I think he'll just... Fizzle out. Well, that's an inter that's a tempting offer. Did we say that? There we go. Bowlers off. Oh, there you go. Juventus and Napoli. That's more like it. I hope he goes there. I would have liked the percentage of the next deal, but fair play to him if he goes there. But that'll be encouraging for our youth, youth system because if he goes to a top team like that, then hopefully we can attract. In a realistic world, I'm not saying on FM, but in real in real life, if you get a couple of good young players that go on to then play for big teams, it encourages people in the catchment areas to then sign for Youth Academy because you've got a proven track record of selling young players to bigger clubs. So they, you know, the young players will be enticed by that. Right, so we've got him coming in. We signed him. Daniel Ruiz. Is he? He is. He's South American. Cat wants for Colombia. We do like a South American winger here. Right, we got East Fife next game. I think Rui will be gone by then, which is a shame because I would have liked to have him play one more game for us before he left. You never know. I might. I might be able to. If he goes to Juventus or Napoli, I might be able to convince them to let me loan him back in. Hopefully we can bring Ruby back one day. What's that? Uh, no. There's no resellable value there. He's 29, he's too old. Uh, no, I don't... No. No, he's, he's in the first team now. Stop trying to encourage me to put him back in the reserves. Right, Lennon Minna. Ah, uh, Bowler rejected it. It doesn't matter, we like Bowler here. If we get a decent offer, we'll sell him. If we don't, we'll just keep him. Um, I started a, a, a nice offline save uh, on FM um, a couple of days ago. I decided to do a build a nation save with Luxembourg because I was quite inspired by watching them 
um, do well in real life the other day, and I noticed there was a lot of players there that weren't. There were what they call na- nation nationalized or whatever they called it. So players from different nations that moved to Luxembourg uh, and then end up playing for them. So I thought it'd be an interesting save idea. So I am. Um, um, I think they're called. I can't remember what the, the name is now. Different, different FC, different Ange or something in Luxembourg. And uh, I'm also the Luxembourg national team manager. So it's quite a good save. I'm enjoying it. I was sec- I, I ended up second place in my first season there. I've only just started the second season. So um, got knocked out of the the Europa League um, both seasons in the first round. But it is expected when you're just a team in Luxembourg. I think the, the, the highest a team in Luxembourg has got, I think, is the Euro- Europa League group stage. And I think that was F9-1 different or something like that i can't remember what team i am actually i'll have a look in a minute we're not when i finish this episode i'll have a look but there you go rui's gone he will be sorely missed oh my god i really wish we had a flipping bloody percentage on that all right let's see if i can get him in alone uh no no chance fair play we've produced one of the best players in the world by the looks of it now yeah, he will be sorely missed here. But I think when you're in, when you're managing in the Scottish League, if you get an, uh, a talented player like that, they're not going to be very, they're not going to come around very often. And when they do, they're going to get poached by a big club. But I'm just glad he didn't go to Hearts or Dundee because that would have been, that would have been really annoying. I think we get the standard, is it 5% or 1% or something in these next transfer fee anyway? So if he leaves, we'll still make like a... If he goes for that much money, like 80 million or whatever, we still get like, I don't know, whatever, 1% of eight, 80 million is 800,000 in it. So, you know, a little bit of extra money for nothing. Uh, I think he's going to probably end up being our new first team right back for now. Oh, I'm so sad. I think I'm more sad losing Rui than I was losing Collins Faye. I know, I mean, you remember from previous episodes how good I was about him. It always seems to be the right backs I get attached to. I don't know why. Right, onwards and upwards, unfortunately. we just got to get on with it. Is he a right back? He is a right back. He's 25. So I'm alright with that. Leighton Clarkson coming in. We'll just buy him now. One thing we've got now is a decent transfer budget. So I'm, I'm going to shift some of it over here. Uh, Alright, I deserve a new contract for making you all that money. Right, Leighton Clarkson. Oh, we managed to sign. Is he a right back? He is. There you go. That's Rui's. That's Rui's replacement sorted. Uh, he just can't join us yet, unfortunately. Because he's on loan at St. Moon. Let me just check something. I don't know if you can take over the... I know he's not. He's at Newcastle. No, he is on loan at St. Moon. We've also got this guy here as well that we can have as right back and also he's good at playing centre back as well, so that's good. But yeah, we've done 19 minutes already, we haven't even played a game. This is what happens when you have the transfer window to sort out. Oh, we've got competition. Oh god, Celtic's going for the same player as we are, so is St. Mirren. So we've got no chance now. I would say we've got no chance, we've got very little chance. Uh, yeah, they have accepted. I was hoping that they rejected it then. Uh, we don't sign in then. Need a bit of a sign in for us. All right, Palacios is finally gone. More dead wood out the door. Uh, 
uh, Lindon Salali. Uh, no. Oh, actually, yeah, because he's one we can sign on a free transfer. Ah, he won't come to us. Uh, we'll get rid of him. Shacklin, Shanklin's gone. He's gone up to play in Switzerland for the last part of his career. Hope it goes well for him. Right, we'll appeal that. Oh God, if we if we've got to sell Hoyland because he won't get a work permit, that's this is going to go down as the worst episode ever. There you go, Rice straight in the team as centre back, which is what we want to see. We want to bring through some of these young players. There he goes back. So we've got Brin in goal, so I assume Dewhurst is still, yeah, he's still injured, isn't he? Uh, Oyanu, he'll be the right back, most likely, uh, main right back for at least the next couple of weeks until we find another one. And we've got Ryan Diaz in the centre of defence. Longello is left back, Rios and Mar Richie Moran in midfield. Uh, Alex Lowry, Alex Lowry? Law Lowry, I'm going to call him Lowry because I'm just going to, Pronounce it how it's spelled, even though that doesn't all isn't always the case. So we've got Lowry is right wing, and then we've got Mulligenta in the attacking midfield position, just behind the striker. Garrigo on the left, and Gail Hart up front. Hopefully, we can win this game, make a hell of a lot of money in the in the run up to it. Uh, we go on a decent cup run. So they'll uh, bring in a lot of money to the club. Hopefully we can keep, even though we've lost Rui, hopefully it won't uh, hinder our chances of at least getting top four, if not better. I kind of want to get like second um, this season, trying, so it feels like it's progress. I don't want another season where we're third or fourth. I don't want that every season. Right, Dorigo. Oh, nearly sets up Gelhart. He's five on the uh, on the break now. Oh god, we we fouled him. I was worried then. I thought Brios was going to get sent off. Oyano is a pretty good um, stand-in for Rui. Right, Diaz passes it out, Longello, Longello, sorry, Gelhart. I think this is a rotated team because it's a Scottish Cup game and I think the assistant manager knows we're going to beat them, hopefully. There you go, I think that was an own goal. Yeah, we'll take it though. Graham Gebby, own goal. Uh, good, good, good. It's good so far. Our performance could be a little bit better. We'd not seem to do much. Oh, no. What are you doing? You shouldn't be losing to this no. team like East 5. No offence to Lelujo or any Lelujo fans. I don't mean any disrespect. Or any East 5 fans. I don't mean any disrespect, but we should be beating you. Right, there we go. Lowry. Darigo. Go on. Oh, nearly. Right, corner. We seem to be the dominant team in this game. We're just not putting away our chances. We've got 2.52 XG. Yet we've only got one goal. 2.75 XG now. So we are... Gail Hart's not doing very well. Right, I need Gelhart to perform better or else he's off. Let's try firing him up. Try firing up uh, Longello as well. Anybody else not performing? 
uh, you weren't performing very well either, so we'll try and fire you up. I think half the time these shouts don't even work, they're just pointless. Low re. What's he going to do? Oh. He's still got the ball. Oh, nearly. Good save. Fair play to their goalie. Kept them in the game here. 3.00 XG now. Still one goal. Unbelievable. I think that tells you more about the goalie than anything else. Their goalie seems to be really good. Let's have a let's have a little look at the, the, their goalie. Rory. Uh, is it possible to boost play at the moment? It's not possible. Okay. Right. Let's just give him a proper scouting report. Let's add him to the shortlist. Maybe we look to bringing him in at some point. You never know. Right, Oyane. Gets the ball back, passes it inside to Gelhart. Moran. Moran, sorry, Moran. Across to De Arrigo. De Arrigo keeps the ball. Is he going to shoot from here? Oh, he does, and he bloody massively over with that. Right, let's change that back. There we go. Right, Longello is coming off. So is Gelhart. And actually, Mulligenta can come off as well. Right, Lowry. Get in. Oh, look at that. There you go. Super sub. Yue comes on after a couple of and in a couple of minutes he scores straight away. That's what it's that's how that's how it's done, Gelhart. Remember that. Right, Swazo. Dorigo loses the ball though. Oh, they're going to score, aren't they? Oh, they're very lucky, very unlucky there. Corner to us. Can we get another goal to end this game? I don't want to be. I don't want it to be two one. I want it to be. There you go. That's more like it. Nicolas Diaz. And uh, uh, Darren Roy's not playing very well. That's a shame. Probably too soon for him, I think. Ah, three two. So glad we got that that third goal. Right, let's get another goal here. Let's kill this game off. Moran, De Arrigo, bombs, bombs ahead on the wing. Passes it inside to Moran. Moran tries and passes it into the box, but fails. Get it back though, Suazo. Now Rios. Lowry, oh what a ball. That was a beautiful ball. Unlucky by Gouet. I think he was offside. Right, but now we can't take any more players off, so we'll just get on with it. In the end, we had an XG of 4.3. 4 we got three goals, 4.64 now. Not too bad in the end, but a bit frustrating that we had an XG of three at the time, we only had one goal, but we, we got there in the end. Right, 3 2 win. 6.81 million. Let's have a look, let's have a quick look, see if there's any free transfers worth signing. Free transfer, get rid of that. No, I don't think there's anybody worth signing by the looks of it. No. Oh, I stand corrected. I know he's 35, but it's got to be done, isn't it? Jesse Lingard. That's making me want to keep looking now. Mm. 
No, I think we were lucky to find him, Jesse Lingard. That's the dog, by the way. He's uh, he's sleeping and he's snoring. Hopefully, you can't hear it too bad. No, I think that's it. We were lucky to probably find Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard and Paul Pogba reunited. I like a troublemaker, me. That's why I've got Deli Ali and uh, not that Deli Ali is much of a troublemaker, but you know what I mean. I play with a checkered past, as they say. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, okay. We're playing Arbor next round. We should be able to beat them. Let's hope we can get to the final. That'd be a nice day out for the fans. Right, we'll appeal that. We could do it with him as backup for Oyanu for now, just in case we don't get that other player. Because I think he'll go to Celtic, to be honest. Ross Miller. No. Uh, have we got any... Let's have a look who we've got as right back. So we go... We do all squads and then do that and then do that. We do that, we do that. We are quite low on them though. Uh Roscoe's pretty good though, so we could promote him to the senior squad. He's not very good. Send him out alone, hopefully he can get better. But yeah, we're we're lacking on talented young right backs. You never know, in our next youth intake, we might end up getting the next Gary Rui come through. And then we can start the whole process again. I hope he does well at, at Juventus, Gary Rui. I hope he wins things. Scott McKellar. He's a very talented centre back. We'll nick him from Motherwell. Has he played for Scotland yet? He has. Six caps for Scotland. No, I think it might be that bug that's going on. But we could be wrong. Let's have a look. When did he get his international debut? It doesn't say. So that makes me think. Mm. Right. Uh, probably the best offer we're going to get for Long Yellow. So yeah, we'll just accept it. Right. Okay, he's in the movie because I praised him, so he's going. I can't be dealing with people like him. Just accept a compliment. Why do you have to kick off? Right, Darigo, who's come back to club. He's signed a new contract. Oh, God, what's going on here? So, no. I think that's why we that's why we ended up rejecting offers for Longello before, because his agent's too greedy. See if we can get rid of him again. We couldn't get rid of him before. Right, we've got St. Mirren next game. This one's going to be a bit of a long episode just because of the fact is it's the uh, January, uh, January transfer window. So it probably will be a long one.
Uh, we've signed a very talented South American winger. Bolivian. Oh, I don't think we've had a Bolivian here yet. Yame Kuala. No. He's such his agent so greedy. Can we ask him to get rid of his agent? Uh, is it this one? I swear there's a way you can ask him for No. Sometimes you can ask him, but it's usually when you're trying to get him to sign a new contract. It's never usually when you're trying to get a transfer out. Right. So, apparently he had his work permit denied. So he can't play for a bit, I don't think. How's Lewis Vaughan doing? Not played much, only played two games or so. That's a shame. Hoyland's had a, his work permit uh, accepted though, so that's good. Ah, McKellar's decided to sign a new contract with Motherwell. Can we go for him again? Ah, we'll get him eventually though. Uh, South American striker. Has he? Is he got? Is he? Oh, he, he can score a few goals actually. A bit of competition for Hoyland and Ross Stewart. Uh, yeah, he's probably an upgrade to Bryn. So I was looking to bring him. Get rid of him off the shortlist. Oh, he's not on the shortlist, am I? Right. Oh. Right. Gary Rui played for them yet, yeah, Beaventus. See, his value's gone down already. He has played though, he played in the Coppa Italia, only got a 6.3 rating though, so yeah, maybe he will. He'll probably have a decent career though when it's all said and done, but um, I think we did well to get 14 million for him in hindsight. Right, do us. No, you're not going anywhere. Nope, neither are you. So we have signed him. Alejandro Francis. Francis. Yeah, decent right back there. He'll probably end up taking the right back place from Oyano. Oyano will go back to being back up. Which I don't think he'll mind too much. Oh no, he stays in there. Oh, Francis has gone in centre back position. Oh well. Um, but at least he can play right back if need be. Duras is back. So we got Ayano as right back. Francis makes his debut, plays alongside Diaz. Bruce is back as left back. Rios, uh, Petrovic is back in midfield. And we've got Bowler on the right. Barr is back in the, in the attacking midfield position. Ruiz. Is good. Daniel Rui is probably going to make his debut. I think he, I don't think he played for us. Yeah, make his debut for us, and then Hoyland up front. So, a couple of new signings bedding in today. We'll see how they get on against Saint Mirren. Should be an easy enough win, uh, easy enough game for them to play. We're still only one point behind Hearts. Uh, they've got a game in hand though. Ruiz, straight to Ayano, back to Rui. Daniel Rui, there you go, scores on his debut. That's how you become an instant hero at Rafe Rovers. The fans are bouncing at the moment, as they know we're top of the league now. At the moment we are anyway. Oh, intercepted by Petrovic. Loses the ball, but Bowler has it now. Oh, 
Good defending by him, whoever that was for them. Oh, we might have a penalty here. Now, I used to assume every time the, the, the referee goes to the screen, it's always a penalty, but it don't always work out like that. They must have done something with the latest update. No penalty. Ah, that's a shame. Corner. Rui. Not Rui. Ruiz. 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 One day I'm going to just Google um, how to pronounce and then just try and get all the players here so I, and then I can just get their names down to a T then. That's what I'm going to do as my homework today when I finish these episodes I'm recording. Ruse with the free kick. Dolly saves it out for a corner to us. Corner again. Uh, still 1 0. Do with extending our lead though. Right, here we go. Oh no, we lose the ball. I think this is going to be our highlight. I think we're going to take the ball off him in a second. I mean, look at the stats sent me in there and have a shot yet. I feel like this is going to be one of these defensive errors that will come out of nowhere, miss pass or something. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe it will be their highlight after all. Oh, they're going to score. Oh, I think he was offside anyway. Right, 1-0 at half time. Doing well so far. Let's get another goal though. Let's have a look at the latest scores. So hearts are losing, which benefits us. Oh Ayana with the little flick on there. Ooh, didn't he? Yeah, so Ah, oh, the drawing now. They've just equalised. Rangers are winning as well. There you go. That's what we want to see. Now Yarni telling me that he wants to be the first team right back. Yeah, Rangers are winning. So yeah, I think the only game that affects us really is the Hearts game at the moment. Right, their goal kick. We intercept it though. Boulder, bombs in the middle. Right, oh, nearly. Right, I think that's going to stay 1 1 unless something drastic happens. Rangers winning 4 0 though. Oh, they got the half hit guy. I don't know why you still have it. My uh, parfait. Guy gone, I think it's yeah, it is. He's a uh, he, I had him in a FC Met save and he scored the winning f goal from a free kick that won me the French Cup. So he's a very good player, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, we're one point ahead of Hearts now, they've got a game ahead of us, though. But we are top, everybody, so at least there's that. We've got a oh, we're playing Hearts next as well. Hopefully we beat Hearts, we can get a bit of a lead on the table, on the league. Yeah, Hearts away though. Let's see how it goes. Jesse Lingard's in. Let's add him to the mentoring circle. Uh, he's not in there. I would holiday it usually when it's in between games, but because it's the transfer window, I don't want to lose anybody else, especially Dewhurst. And I'm just worried that the DOF will accept an offer. Right, 
Right. Sekulovon has gone. Hopefully he'll go. We signed him for a bloody 3.7 million. Absolute waste of money he was. In his defence, he just never got in the team. He never got the chance. Right, we've got a new backup goalie. Josh Griffiths. Oh, that's a shame. His scout report made him come across as better than he is. He's probably not even. He's probably not even as good as Sol Rin though. Uh, let's do it by. I don't know. How have we not got rid of you yet? Let's try mutually terminating your contract. There we go. We got rid of him. Cost us a bit of money, but we got rid of you. Right. So let's go by position. <clears throat> yeah, so do her is obviously the best one. We've got a lot of goalkeepers, so <laughs> forgot I didn't realise how many goal oh these are just if I do this, that's why. I've oh, still got four first team goalies out. Maybe we'll look at getting rid of no not Josh Clark. Uh we'll leave it for now, but we'll probably look to get rid of Sol Brint and probably Josh Griffiths as well. Because He's not good enough. He's, he's fourth choice. I don't understand why we but We shouldn't have bothered. Right. Let's see how we get on. Hearts next game. Let's try and get through this as quickly as possible. There you go, free transfer. Brazilian. I don't think I'll bother signing anybody else though. Oh god, Lingard's injured already. Typical. Let's have a look at the transfer history. I just want to see how well we've done. So we we spent 34.5 million this season, but we recovered 29.5, so that's good. How did we do the years before? So yeah, it's not too... Oh no, we spent a lot that season, 39 million. Why did we spend all that money? Who did we sign? Oh yeah, Ross Stewart, Maldini, Scott McTominay. I believe he went to a team called... Que uh, it's a team in France called Quevely. Literally, not the, oh, we managed to sign Hoyden though, so that's good. Dewhurst was a great sign, 3.9 million, absolute bargain. Nesbitt was a waste of money. McTominay was basically a waste of money. Maldini was okay for a bit. Ross Stewart was pretty good, but he's not really played much now. Redmond was a waste of money. Uh, let's have a look at the season before. So, yeah, we spent about 5 million. And then first season in, we spent 1.8 million. So, right. Rangers won again, so they're now uh, neck and neck up with us on points. Look at that! Look how tight that is there. Celtic don't look like they're going to win the. Uh, but then again, they have got two games ahead of everybody else. They've got three games ahead of us. Um, so nine. So they are they are in it sort of, but yeah, Rangers and Hearts, and Hibs very very close to us here. So we cannot afford to lose any games at the moment. I wish they stopped going, uh, trying to sign Dewurst. So why is he not happy? Cancelled. Why have they been cancelled? Ah, uh, okay. Right, we'll just try and make a little bit of money off you. Big, big game now. 
not as big as game as it was going to be at the time because Hearts were like neck and neck with us at the top. But if they beat us, they go top of the league, I think, unless Rangers are playing at the same time, which I don't think they are. All right, Craig Fisher. Are we going to sell Craig Fisher? Uh, no. Right. Let's see how we get on. I really hope we do beat Hearts because if we lose, we're back to square one again, don't we? Come on, lads, let's be having you, as Delia Smith would say. Right, I think. I don't think there's major any changes by the looks of it. No, it looks the same. I think it's the same lineup as last game. so far hearts are dominating though by the looks of it there we go demand a bit more has helped a little bit Diaz, Francis, back to the goalie. All right, we're taking. We haven't. We had a patient approach here, by the looks of it. Bar, beautiful pass. Rios, oh look at that! Oh, that would have been a great ball to him there. Oh, <laughs> God. caught the goalkeeper off there, didn't he? He wasn't expecting that. Free kick to us, Ruiz. Oh, I thought that was in then. I thought that was going to be a goal. Right, intercepted by Bowler. Go on, Bowler. Ah, oh, he loses it, though. See, I don't like the fact that these kits are very similar. It's very hard to figure out the difference. The only thing is, obviously, that Hearts have got white shorts on, so that helps a little bit. But... Oh, one nil down. Bloody hell, Samuel Odosi, he, he was a really good player for me on my Everton save. My first ever save, or my first ever YouTube save that was. I hope you enjoyed it when it was on. I know it, I know it was only two seasons long because I got sacked in the second season for being rubbish. But it was still enjoyable. It was enjoyable just building a team to with, and then having to sell the players as well. So that made it an interesting save for me. Right, if I berate the players, hopefully that'll fire them up. I don't think we could, we could. I don't think we have. Uh, we're. I think we're good enough to at least get a point here. Petrovic is knackered though. So is Ruiz. Brendan Barr's coming off. Got Gail Hart in there. Boulder's not playing very well, but he can't come off. We can give him a telling off though. Uh, fire up. Alright, come on, that's run out of time here. <sighs> Typical, we get we get so far and then we just ugh, just deteriorate. Where are we going to be in the league now? Second, and we're neck and neck on points with Rangers, and they've got two games ahead of us, and so is Gibbs. Great. Well, there goes our title of aspirations, I think. I could be wrong, but... Uh, Van Nistroy. Come on, Del, do hers. We signed a new contract already. What I'll do is, when 
what I'll do is I'll keep going now until the transfer January transfer window is finished. And then I'll call it an end to the episode because it has been quite long already. It's been 55 bloody minutes. Hopefully I can get this done in the next five minutes and then I can call it the January transfer window one hour live special or something. Dundee next, so we're playing Dundee, where are we playing Dundee? The second of the set, so we won't be playing that game obviously. Uh, so yeah, we'll just forward it now and get the January transfer window done. I'll tell you what, if you really, really want him, and you offer me 20 million, you can have him. There you go. Hopefully that'll put West Ham off now. Right, Mascarella's not happy, so we'll look to sell him. We're now third now. The Rangers won. They're top of the league by three points and they've got a game ahead of us. Celtic won, so they're catching up with everybody else. Uh, Hibs won. Did Hearts play? Hearts didn't play. Or did they? No. I want to see how cute Baxter looks right now on Muller. Look at that. Look at him, eh? Are you daddy's little boy? Eh? Are you, daddy? Are you, you love it on daddy's big belly, don't you? He does. He finds great warmth and comfort in my big belly. Right. Ravenelli, that brings me back. We'll just remove that, we won't bother with him. Right, we've signed this player in. Camacho, Isaac, Camar Camarjo, Camarjo. Uh, I think he'll be a good option for us on the bench and stuff. We want to transfer, don't we? There you go. Marcher are injured already, so he's not going to make his debut in this game, which is a shame. Nicole Paz. No. Dundee next game. They are literally bottom of the league, so we should be beating these. Oh, the transfer window closes, so we might as well play that Dundee game as well. We'll play the Dundee game. If it's slightly over an hour, it's slightly over an hour, it doesn't matter.
Never know, Danny Alley might be leaving in the transfer window if we get an offer for him. Uh, just get through these as quickly as possible. Cameron Bruce was in the Premiership Team of the Week. Uh, player of the Month, we had... Where is he? Oh, it's because we got him on our we got him on our um, shortlist. I wonder why that came up then. Uh, is any of our players there? Uh, are any of these ours? No. No, we must have one of them on the shortlist. Right. Easily distracted me. Uh, Leon King. In real life, isn't Leon King meant to be really good? All right, we're signing another South American. Also sign Leon King. Let's uh, see if any of them wants to join the Mentoring circle. No, they don't. Oh, for God's sake, this. Right. Hope we can get rid of him at some point. I just want to get rid of you. I don't care if we don't get much money for you at this point. I'm just going to reject any loan offers for him. Typical, I get no office for him now. Right, no, stop with the rubbish office for Dewhurst. He's a good player, we'll just add him to the shortlist though. Uh, how much would he cost us? No. Right, we're going to mutually terminate him. Get him out the door. Oh, <laughs> that was an epic. Oh, well, that was a that was a poor judgment of uh, er an error of judgment there by me. I'll add that one to the blooper reel of my, uh, my online career. Right, you really want him. You can have him for 20 million. Oh. We're willing to negotiate. 20 million. 20 million. I'm not budget. 20 million? No. Uh, we are categorically not selling it. There you go. Three hours to go in transfer deadline day. Gonna do this. Uh, there you go. That's that. Two hours to go. Oh, you're getting you're getting bigger. Let's try fifteen million. Ah, there you go. Nice try. Unlucky Queen's Park. Right, that's the January transfer window closed. Everyone. We've done an hour and five minutes, so I'm going to call it a day for this episode. We'll come back with the the next game. So we're just going to save it now. Uh, thank you as always to everyone for watching. I much appreciate it as always. And enjoy the rest of your... Oh, I've done something wrong there. There we go. That's better. I think people can see it better now. Yeah, sorry about that. Right. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be back tomorrow. All the best. Bye.